When it comes to planning your most special day, you want to hire the best wedding planner in town. But what happens when the best wedding planner in town disagrees with your homosexual lifestyle? This happens to be a daily challenge for outspoken anti-gay wedding planner Phil Lamont. I'm a religious man, and I think that homosexuality is a sin and that gay marriage is an abomination. If I could have my way, I would refuse every gay couple that came into my downtown studio. But the law says that I cannot deny the gays. And so I am forced to plan their weddings. It sickens me. With all the other wedding planners out there, you might be asking yourself, why don't gay couples just choose ones who... When it comes... When it comes to planning your most special day, you want to hire the best wedding planner in town. But what happens when the best wedding planner in town disagrees with your homosexual lifestyle? This happens to be a daily challenge for outspoken anti-gay wedding planner Phil Lamont. When it comes to planning your most special day, you want to hire the best wedding planner in town. But what happens when the best wedding planner in town disagrees with your homosexual lifestyle? This happens to be a daily challenge for outspoken anti-gay wedding planner Phil Lamont. I'm a religious man, and I think that homosexuality is a sin and that gay marriage is an abomination. If I could have my way, I would refuse every gay couple that came into my downtown studio. But the law says that I cannot deny the gays. And so I am forced to plan their weddings. It sickens me. With all the other wedding planners out there, you might be asking yourself, why don't gay couples just choose ones who respect gay marriage? We asked that question to newlywed Stephen and Gary Miller. Well, honestly, we could have gone with another wedding planner, but we wanted the best. And Phil Lamont is the best. He's in the vanguard of wedding planners. And it just so happens he's a raging homophobe. Yeah. While the law says he has to serve gay customers, it doesn't say he has to do a good job of it. So... We asked Phil Lamont what's to stop him from sitting down on the job in protest or even sabotaging the gay weddings altogether. Let me tell you something. Even as much as the gay lifestyle sickens me, I still take pride in my work. That used to mean something in America. I built Phil Lamont events with my own bare hands. I will never give less than 100% to any couple that hires me whether they're straight or suckers. But that doesn't mean I won't exercise my First Amendment right to say what needs to be said. Well, we knew heading into this that Phil would not hold back his religious views, but the way we saw it, we could choose between an amazing reception where we were berated for being gay. Or we could have a subpar reception with people who totally support us, yeah. or people who are hiding their hatred. Exactly, with Phil, Everything was out on the table yeah. and everything was fabulous. We don't mind having a wait staff calling us <laughs> licking <laughs> every time they fill up our champagne glasses if the service is impeccable. God, and it was. While other wedding planners have felt